My name is Chris Penn. I'm a pop culture music aficionado, self-proclaimed. I am currently 44 years old, and uh, I've always loved rock and roll music. I almost uh, consider rock and roll my religion, and I've kind of used it as my career path. Good Records opened in the year 2000. It was uh, founded by myself, Tim DeLauder, Julie Dole, and uh, we had a partner at the time, Eric Corson, and we saw a niche that needed to be filled in Dallas, Texas. So when we first opened Good Records, we were always going to have bands come play our store. Granddaddy, Enon, Beachwood Sparks, Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, Death Cab for Cutie, John Densmore from The Doors, Queens of the Stone Age, The Flaming Lips. We average about one to two in stores a week, and we've been open for 15 years, so this is where people come to get records, and at the bottom of my heart, I kind of get choked up when I think about it. It's like we've kind of become that, uh, the amoeba of Dallas, and it's kind of, uh, it's pretty cool. I look on Facebook and I look up uh, this guy, Chris Penn, you know, and and here's pictures of uh, the kids with Alice. The store that obviously it's an Alice Cooper fan and a record fan, so I can relate to that. When I spoke with Dennis and he goes, hey, there's this guy, uh, Chris, who's got a uh, good records in Dallas and he's gonna do a book signing thing there. And he said, uh, what do you think? Uh, would you like to come? And I said, oh, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to come. And, and he said, and there might be some other things in the works, but he didn't really elaborate. Neil Smith came back to me and said, hey, I heard there's a stage, I'm down with playing. And then Michael Bruce actually came to me and said, just get me this kind of guitar amp and I'll play. And Neil Smith told me which kind of kit he needed. And I got him an even bigger kit, a double bass kit that was similar to his uh, Billion Dollar Babies tour kit, which was a, a platinum kit that a guy named Guy and Sanders loaned to us free of charge just to make it happen. And I went and got drum heads made, but those three guys were gonna play uh, regardless if Alice ever showed up. I had not, did, didn't know anything about Alice being in the area with the Motley Crue tour and any of that. The reason I picked October 6th was October 5th, the current Alice Cooper group played Hidalgo, Texas. And October 7th, the day after our event, was uh, he opened up for Motley Crue at the American Airlines Center. October 6th would be a day off. Either it'd be a day off in Hidalgo or a day off in Dallas. Alice knows where the good golf courses are in Dallas, so I'm, I go, he's gonna come here on October 6th. I'm thinking to myself, well, he can golf in the morning and then come be a part of our event. Now, I didn't fully realize somehow that Alice would be in town as well. Uh, so when I found that out, then Chris had been uh, discussing with the Coop camp and trying to make uh, those arrangements, which I knew that you don't want to bug them too much. You, you can ask, but then don't keep asking. Dennis either emailed or texted me or called me and said, hey, it's on. We never knew if Alice Cooper was going to come. Never knew it. So I'm going to, I'm supposed to introduce the band, but it's ridiculous that I would be doing it, given the fact that this man put this event together. There's no bigger fan. The care and concern with which he has done this event is extraordinary. Chris Penn is to be commended, celebrated, honored, feted. These guys wouldn't be here, this wouldn't be happening. None of this would be happening without Chris Penn and Good Records. Chris, congratulations. I want you to have the honor of introducing the band. That's your freaking dream, for God's sakes. Thank God for Chris Penn. Hey, let's get through this quick. Thank you guys very much. Thank you to the originals, Dennis Dunaway, Neil Smith, and Michael Bruce, without further ado, the eighth wonder of the world, the Alice Cooper Group! Yeah!